I started teaching since 1993. So already 31 years teaching. Yes, yes. Long time. Yeah, it's good. That is so I mean, great. teaching 31 years taught me so much because I saw so many students, so many great ones, so many bad habits, many, many, many different kinds. Wow. Okay. Can you talk then, a little bit then, about those so we can know what to avoid? <laughs> yeah. Well, these days, especially um, young people, uh, it's in a way, it's a little bit not fortunate to have too many information. Yes. So that um, people use computer and go to YouTube and always people Google what to play. <laughs> but we used to do, you know, anything who, you know, started guitar before 2001, it's good because before CD and using cassette tape, you know, records, <laughs> then everything kind of limited. But after, you know, 2000, yeah. after uh, CD or MP3 or those, everything available, video, and too convenient. I see. Okay, so sometimes people learn too quickly mm. about the information. So, for example, bad habit, you know, number one, knowing five position of pentatonic scale. Yeah. That's dangerous because then then almost people think, okay, I got the five position. Now I can play really well. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's just fact about the pentatonic scale. Nothing to do with music yet, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so <clears throat> sometimes, like, less information like I, now i teach one string more than patterns okay yeah so like i don't really teach anything vertical these days i try to teach more horizontal okay just because vertical is easy because like a pentatonic scale ton 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 like this kind of shape like yeah that. yeah right and then what happens is once you learn that you play today tomorrow Day after tomorrow, next week, <laughs> next month, next year. Ended up, everybody sounds the same for about three years. True, true. Because information so quickly, so there's no discovering something new. True. It's all already there, and everybody know, everybody plays it, and just stuck. And there's a different meaning on it if you're the one that goes after it to discover, right? It's very different yes. for you to transcribe a, a solo, for example, compared to just looking up yes. the tabs, right? Yes. And just because when you discover, you don't know something, and you may mistake to do something, yeah. but then every mistakes you make become your asset, you know. So and challenging and sometimes exciting, you know. So, but if you get, if you click minor pentatonic. And then you go to YouTube channel, somebody showing, here's a pentatonic scale like that. Then there's no surprise, yeah. no discovery. Yeah, yeah. And there's no reason. Th and there's no process, that. right, of learning. That's right. Yeah. Almost like you eat food. Wow, it tastes great, but I don't know what it is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. So almost like I have to teach, undo it. I don't have to add anything because everybody already know the information. True, true, true. So information isn't a problem. Like you said, process is a problem. How to learn. Yeah. So I have to teach them how to learn and what to learn. Yeah. It's fun. It's great. When to learn, it. right? <laughs> yeah. Not to get to ahead learn. of yourself. <laughs> yeah. So like, <clears throat> so like a pent if you learn pentatonic scale, probably best to do to do is if you learn, you know, minor pentatonic, root flat three, four, five, flat seven, but maybe you want to learn root flat three, four, five, that's it. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. You know, just sim simple like that. Or if you learn major pentatonic, before you learn major pentatonic, you have to learn major scale. And you have to know every degree in singing, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And then understand major pentatonic, do, re, mi, so, la, do, you know, singing like that. So um, the problem is, I think, people learn A minor pentatonic before C major scale. Really? That's a little bit problem, you know? I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, see, see, like if you learn by ear, you know, not knowing theory, that's fine because that's already trial. You know, listening, figuring out. You don't understand, but gradually, you put piece together. Yeah. More fun. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I think everybody learn a little too fast, <laughs> too much. <laughs> that's cool. That's so cool. And yeah. Uh, Something that I think is interesting, I don't know if you've ever heard that observation before. I, I think I think you might, is that like I'm a Westerner, of course, right? And yes. sometimes we look at Asian people, of course, it's a, a stereotype, but I, I want to know from you if there's any, <laughs> any degree of truth that you guys are so great and virtuoso at like music, at, at arts, uh, Chinese culture, Korean culture, Japanese culture. Do you agree with that? And if so, why do you think I, that? Yeah, is? I think I think you know, yeah, it's very stereotype about it, just because we were taught by method, and then this is a method, and then there's no reason you have to follow it. So we have a lot of respect to system. Yes, you know, because that's how I taught. How, uh, how we are taught, you yeah. know. The culture itself, is, right? Hey, Just for those that yeah. uh, people that might not be aware. I lived in, I was yeah. talking to Tomo before starting the recording. I lived in Japan for one year and I did realize that the culture is much more of a community culture where everyone is thinking of the society. There are peop the people that came before them, right? They're, yes. they're elders and then the, <laughs> yeah. all, it's very, it's very important to respect your elders, to know yeah. who came before <laughs> you, right? That's right, that's right. Yeah, that's actually a great part, you know, great part, you know, respect the parents, you know, ancestors, right? <clears throat> also, everything before. But problem is, if somebody decides this is a system, this is great, and then everybody has to follow because that's the rule. And then, uh, you know, Asian culture is really great at it. That's why everybody kind of follows, you know, same system or same culture. Yeah. That's why the culture are very strong about, you know, food, sense, everything. Yeah. yeah. But the music, sometimes, especially, you know, electric guitar, learning and teaching, it's a still a new thing, you know. Think about <clears throat> nine, late, like late, in the early 1950s, that's how they started. When instruments are available, people start playing. There's no really teacher about electric guitar, or bending the strings, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people along, maybe educator become, you know, guitar teacher or guitar player become guitar teacher. So everybody kind of uh, figuring out. And even Berkeley, they start a guitar department about 1965, I believe. And then Bill, Bill Levitt, you know, he made those method book about 19... 67, 66, around there, yeah. you know? Yeah, and then because he has really good education about reading, charts, a yeah, yeah. little bit classical music, so his method is based on basic guitar, not based on electric guitar. Yes. But that's a great, great method anyway. Yeah, yeah, So... Reading studies for guitar, I think a few of those are his, right? Yeah, re yeah reading, yeah, exactly. But, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's a good bad because that's already old little bit mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so so i'm glad i came here because now i my my mind is very open that <laughs> i can decide what what i think it's good not just because uh my my teacher taught me you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. that kind of yeah yeah so um i think a guitar to me oh funny guitar is an e instrument to me it's not c so a lot of people try to teach guitar in C and very difficult to do, <laughs> which we have to do still, you know, regular theory, but guitar is E. True. So like any, you know, if you play a song, key of E is really sounds great in the guitar. Yeah. And a lot of open strings and a lot of string goes this way to go high, higher pitch. But easy to show six string at a time, so then become a shape. That's why basic open chords are very simple and that's supposed to be really simple that was designed to play guitar yeah. but then guitar become popular everybody playing so many different styles then i'm i really into edu educating people you know guitar education then i realized i think we have to teach single string 
before you do this. Yeah. Because most guitar lessons teach scale like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, bottom to top, right? Mm-hmm. Vertical. Mm-hmm. By the time we learn, you don't know any neighbor notes because you only know that position. Right? That's the guitar problem. Just because guitar fretboard very difficult to see where the C or D or E, you know, but uh, you know, compared to piano, piano you can see C, D, E, F, G because that's how they line up, you know, very, you know, nicely. Yep. So, if you apply piano music or pianistic teaching to guitar, it won't work. Like, for example, try to pe- te- people teach, uh, you know, piano e- etude. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. That's why I teach chromatic scale. Because chromatic scale, similar to C major scale on the keyboard, everything right next to each other. You know, oh, I smooth. see. Yep. But if you play major scale on the guitar, then you do use first, second finger, fourth finger, first, like this, each one the different fingering. So human fingers are not made for guitar. <laughs> so if you learn position playing that's, you know, C major scale, that's very hard to do. Yeah. And they play chords too. And then most of us question these days, hey, Tomo, how do you play those funky chords so quickly? Because people think I practice chords. No, I practice chromatic scale. That's why my technique is really good to play chords fast. Wow. So, right? so how, how would you, how would you say someone can start learning the chromatic scale with that, that one, one, like horizontal? Yeah. Thing? So, so that, yeah. So I, t- I, I, so this is how I teach now. I teach chromatic scale horizontally. Only fourth and third strings. Okay, so the everything you're is, gonna play, you have to play inside the, yeah, those only, boundaries, Yeah, only okay. Right? So like, I I show you guitar here. Yeah. You know, if you're a listener, you can see it. But I'm showing, uh, guitar. Yeah. And right now, and then okay, so my finger on the fourth string, a third string. The reason is, this way your, your thumb is the center. Yeah. Of a guitar neck. Yeah. This is proper way to hold the guitar. Okay. Now, I'm not against Jimi Hendrix or Steve Ray or John Mayer style, like thumb, you know, wrapping up like that. Yeah. This is a style, play like blues rock. Yeah. This is a style, basic style. Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, you learn this, bending or whatever, you learn this, chromatic scale. Now, you have two choices. Yeah. <laughs> so, my method is really, I teach everything. Then I ask students to choose later. Okay. I don't choose. Yeah, I don't choose their life. They choose their life, <laughs> but I give them the opportunity. Yeah. So my job is they don't miss anything. They know exactly what they know, and they decide later. Yeah. That's what John Mayer decides. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So sure. like this one, this way, you know, you you practice slowly going up and down. You know, from here, first fret, ninth fret, like that. So your pinkies reach to 12 frets and going down. And then even this, you, you know, you have to practice really, really slow. Means like no tempo. First, no tempo. Okay. Like that. Right. The reason is you have to work on right hand muting. Right hand palm really touching four, fifth and sixth string. Okay. Again, this is a guitar song. So. <laughs> and then your first finger fourth finger inside really muting first and second string. So already you are learning chromatic scale and two different muting system. Yes. So tempo isn't important. So when people ask, when should I use metronome? That's not que- that's not important question right now because you play each one sustain and you don't cut off the notes like that. Yeah. So the fourth note is even like a little longer. And go to the next one. So this takes a long time, you know. Okay. Yeah. Long time means it just, you know, a couple weeks maybe, maybe like two, three months. <laughs> but you don't decide. Because what happens is more you spend, you don't expect, then keep going, all of a sudden you go the over the bump. 
Okay. I yeah, see. I had a student who's been playing about eight eight months. He's a very smart guy. He can play trumpet. He played keyboards before. So he switched to guitar eight months ago. He's already t he already took like you know true fire or a lot course. So he's playing full around pentatonic scale, major scale. And then he took my Skype lesson. First month I did this lesson about you know chromatic scale, triads, root third or seven. Like you know I have three things to do, and he did that. Second month we did the same thing pretty much. So he started getting a little frustrated because he's a smart guy. So I'm getting I'm getting frustrated. Why? Because I don't feel like I'm not, I'm um progressing right like improving. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't expect because you are working on it. So when that happens, it, you feel it, but you can't expect, you can't push. Yeah. So the third month, you know, end of the second month, third month, he told me, finally, I see the different result. <laughs> that's cool. And I told him, that's when people quit about proper practice routine. Yeah. That's usually people quit because not fun. Yeah. Of course it's not fun because something becomes so great, you know, unbelievable asset of your, you know, education and your parts of it. So it takes time. You can't push it. <laughs> okay. True. That's why as a teacher, I'm just so calm. I just wait to happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's my job. Really teach everything slow, everything simple, but then gradually changing it. I see. Yeah. I see. So the first chromatic scale, really slow, even just the fourth string. And here's the important part too. You only can practice about five to fifteen minutes, maybe top. I tell students usually ten minutes top about one topic. Because more you do, then oh, you, you, too much. They ended up, you add something else. Okay. Yeah. So I just don't want to, like, adding a bad habit. So basically, you want to do carefully 10 minutes each topic. But two months or three months, you have to do it. Okay. So I you, really you think, say that 10 yeah. minutes so that you don't overwork your mind and the, the returns exactly. for like i imagine yeah. that for every minute that you practice over those 10 minutes are like diminishing returns right you're going to be less and less productive yeah. so like more you do in a shorter period of time you start changing it okay because your mind is going faster okay expectation yeah so i tell students don't don't have it <laughs> kind of funny but try not have expectation but you know exactly how you study and just trust me and do that. 